Many people keep dogs for two main reasons, as pets and for security. And for this set of people, dogs are man's best friend. But there are others who see dogs in a different light, a delicacy that should be relished, maybe with a cold drink by the side. Well, if Manuel has got a trick up his sleeves, let's take a look. Friends to some and food to others. Some people call it 404. In other areas, it is known as J5. No matter by whatever name it is called, all dog meat eaters have a common stake. Every Sunday evening, this bar and many others in Uyo, the capital of Akwaibom State, are filled with dog meat devotees. To these men, the mention of 404 meat inspires them to salivate. It's one of the best dog meat in town. When you come here to eat dog meat, I don't think you'll go to any other place to take it. Yeah, dog meat is the best meat anybody can eat at any point in time. You know why? It has unsaturated fat and it is very, very good for the body. Look at everything about the dog meat. Look at Peringo. Look at the leaves and everything. Makes you strong and makes you look special, makes you stand out. <laughs> what we are taking in addition with the dog is palm wine. There are so much tales woven around dog meat delicacy. For example, it is prepared only on Sunday year and in many places. Secondly, some say you have to add local gin when cooking it. And wait for this. Some others say it is medicinal. We call it 404 and it's very good with palm wine. Fresh palm wine, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people prepare it as a, maybe like a pepper soup or it can be roasted as well. When it comes to dog meat preparation, Emmanuel Ekwenyong knows it like the back of his hand. It tells us only locally bred dogs are used. I've, I used to prepare with the sense leaf, with the, we call this one otazi, and periwinkle, with the, we garnish it with the cucumber and tomato, ritaiwa, that is uh, with plantain inside. Today, these 404 joint found new devotees. Like other initiates, there's palm wine to go with it. Ephraim Emmanuel, reporting for Perspectives from Port Harcourt.